Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank, and today I'm going to be playing some more Inscription Casey's mod. Let's start up a new run. We're going to do a boss totem run again, hoping to get all the challenge points so that we can progress a little bit more with our unlocks. Let's see what we get. Okay. Oh, let's see if we have a pelt to trade. I think we may have had just like one. Oh, actually two. So, what kind of build do we want to go after? A wolf, a bullfrog, and a stoat. Hmm. Well, wolf, bullfrog, and stoat. Perhaps we could do something with bone might be a good idea, and having a mantis with multiple direction attack be pretty nice if we could upgrade it. I'm tempted to do those instead of a bird or anything else. Having an elk fawn that can grow up sounds nice. So maybe we'll do this. And I don't see the bat being worth it. At least not at this point. We'll start off with these two. Okay. We already have a full bag, so I guess the fire makes it. It's the only thing that really makes sense right now. We'll power up the mantis. Go big or go home. And we'll back out. Okay, first fight. And we have a pronghorn. With three HP. And we could do a stoat just to get it something on the board, but I'm tempted to say let's wait and save up for the wolf. Could leave the pronghorn alone and just do overwhelming damage over there, but let's just wait a turn. Alright, good. So the wolf should be able to take out the pronghorn in just one turn, so we'll go ahead and get that happening. We'll just be uh, money from there on out. Nice, and we already got a Samantha's. Good. Looks like he only had one card to play that whole round. It was a little bit of a vicious card though. Okay, I'm tempted to say we should go to the woodcarver. Corpse maggots are kind of fun. Cody could be good. Um, going back and forth, do we want the corpse maggots or the Cody? Maybe we should get the Cody just in case we get a canine family upgrade. And there is a upgrade possibly there. And I don't know. Maybe we could put a sigil swap on the mantis and make it a um, beast. I think it will try that instead of going to the woodcarver right away. Oh, this would be perfect if it works. All right, good. Um, it is relying a lot on one card though, however. Maybe putting it on the stoat makes more sense. So we have two cards can do some uh, interesting things. Okay. Good. We have our stoat on the board right away. And we could put down our bullfrog and it would survive the first strike by the wolf cub. Or we could play our mantis and get the wolf cub diagonally. I think that's what we'll do. Okay. It's usually kind of risky because that alpha would come in and take over, but I'm not going to be able to do this time with only one power. Okay, we'll get a roaming stoat attack going here. Good. Strong stroke. Strong stoat. <laughs> Can't talk. 
Now if we put down that, that alpha is going to uh, power the wolf cub and overpower the bullfrog, so I think it will put the bullfrog over here instead. Elder Stoat should be able to... Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, I think we're going to have enough damage anyways, it won't matter. And it looks like that's the case. Grizzly. I think we'll take it so that we have a really powerful one. Now, do I want to give some powers to, say, the Grizzly or something? Um, it would be amazing to get the multi-directional on that, because they just do so much. But I'm a little bit concerned about losing this already updated Mantis. Perhaps we'll go to the fire and we'll update the uh, Coyote to have some power. So we need something that consumes bones in our hand or else we're losing out. So let's do the Coyote. Okay. We'll try again. There we go. Risky click, but we hadn't had the Coyote very long, so I wasn't too afraid of if it ended up being a loss. I wonder how many teeth we have in our hand, too. We need to check that before we pick the next area. Okay. Uh, Multi-directional Mantis is looking like the order of the day, so let's do it. And we'll get the Coyote on the board as soon as we can. Mm. Unfortunately, that Mantis is going to Get some damage on that porcupine. Okay, um, I think that's all we can really do. Hmm, this is less than ideal. Um, they're gonna do two damage while my mantis only gets one in. And. I think it, that's just going to push us down close to even this sparrow is going to come in and that might push us over. So I'm tempted to use our squirrel up so that we can get the grizzly on the board and restore the peace. I could have sacrificed the mantis instead, but I kind of want to keep it going. And we could get. Cody down, but it's going to die to these darn porcupines, so we'll hold off for now. Should get very close to some excess damage, I think. And a wolf. There's some teeth. Good. I don't think we got any excess, but... Hmm, looks like maybe four or five in the bowl. Um, could use another item, getting the woodcarver, or I could do two upgrade rounds. Um, I feel a little bit bad about passing up the woodcarver again. I would get an item and a new card. I don't have a lot of teeth, so maybe I will go this route. It's always hard to tell what to do. Oh, another wolf cub. Or I could have a prong corn. Prong! Prong corn. <laughs> Pronghorn with a multi-attack. Um, let's see what level twos we have. It might round things out a little bit better than taking a wolf cub. However, having a wolf in just a turn for one less blood is pretty tempting. Maybe we'll take it just as a um, safety. Although that pronghorn was hard to go by. Black goat. Need that blood. Alright, Woodcarver has something good for me. Guardian, bird, and that. That's not good. I don't have a bird, and we only have one reptile, I think. The uh, bullfrog. So that's unfortunate. Um, I guess we'll go with the guardian sigil. Maybe that Guardian Sigil can go on something like the Grizzly, something that has a lot of HP. Alright, Prospector time. Now we could get the Wolf and... or the Pack Mule taken out in just two turns. Hmm. 
so hard to get rid of the coyotes. Hmm. How about... Going back and forth on whether I should save up or not. I could put this out there and then it'll move. Be strong enough to take hit from the coyote. And, um... Go from there. Or I could put the smoke down. Block some damage. Maybe that'll be better. Still, we'll get stronger. There we go. And could kind of just play things off to keep getting attacks on the pack mule done because it is critical to get rid of it. Sacrifice the boulders, of course. So that's unfortunate. Um, could sacrifice the bullfrog in order to take out the coyote, but I think the elder stoat's going to make us break even anyway, so might as well keep things as they are. Okay. Um, tempted to say I'll just keep saving up until the next run. There we go. Now we'll start getting to some straight damage on the board. Okay. Um, we can play this bat and get rid of our um, Cody issue. Or put down the Cody itself. Uh, I probably should have saved that because it's going to get turned into gold here in a minute. It may have been a bit of a blunder. Just keep saving up. There we go. Okay. I don't know what the bell ringing ability does. I need to read up on what that is. I think it's a little bit lame that they block it. enough power and enough space to put out a wolf. Um, I think that I will do just that. This should be able to take out the bloodhound just fine. There we go. Okay, and Maybe about it. I could put a bat down. I'm afraid the bloodhound will move. Let's experiment and see what happens. There we go. I'll take out the coyote as well. Good. Well, as soon as that adder comes over here. Oh, never mind. Too much damage. <laughs> Malgum is tempting, especially with all the power-ups. Packrat comes in clutch, though, so I think we'll take it instead. Although I could have got it for free with a, uh, you know, item event thing. I think this might have been a safer thing. I don't want a car duplication, or do I want to do a sigil swap? I guess we'll check that out in a minute. Alright, five bones, six health. Or four power. Feeling like four power may be our best choice, so let's just do it. Didn't think about it too much, but let's just try. There we go. Right off the bat. Ah, oh, we definitely beat that one. Oh, nice. Um, these are some good sigils. Card bearing sigil is played. A copy of it's created in your hand. Worthy sacrifice card when it's counted as three blood. Well, that's awesome getting bone and blood off of one, two blood card. Hmm. 
Well, it's hard to pick between that and the corpse maggots. Um, I don't know if I like the Cody idea. Maybe I'll go with the Rat King. That feels like the best combination. All right. So, what about wood carver? We don't have a wood carver upcoming, so I don't think sacrificing for a bone token makes a lot of sense. Um, don't need items, so I could get a card duplicated. Um, perhaps doing the mantis so we can get like an uber mantis going might be a good idea. Um, sigil swaps. I don't really see much of a point. I mean, we could take Rat Kings and put them on something funny like, uh, let's see, like the wolf or the bullfrog. Um, that would lower the blood cost. So maybe that would be a smart idea. However, missing out on a duplicate of something sounds worse. Um, what would we duplicate? Perhaps we could try the Rat King in the side of a blood generator and bone generator. I'm not sure how much of the sigils it'll get, but let's see. I need to experiment with this a little bit more anyways. Hopefully he'll get most of them. Uh, looks like an exact copy. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we can uh, generate a bunch of resources now in a way that will be a little bit overpowered. That's why it takes to win Casey's mod. I'm kind of um, over playing fair, so to say. All right, Wolf Cub would come close to taking out the Raven Egg. It's going to be on the same growth cycle too, so I think it would survive. I can't remember if it goes to if it goes to two health. It's not enough though. So maybe we'll put it next to Raven Egg's lane, just so it's kind of a tit for tat attack. Okay, and we are going to have to just keep getting cards for now. Cuckoo is going to be a problem because you know it's going to put an egg in front of us that we're going to have issues with, and it's just going to get airborne damage over and over. Um, hmm. I'll we'll put a squirrel in front of it for the moment. Maybe I'll block the egg. Okay. Good. And that wolf will take out that raven. And we need to draw again and we'll put a wolf in front of that raven. I think it will be set. And we'll be able to play our coyote soon. Not quite yet. Very close. We should get some over damage too, I think. Okay. There we go. It's worth it. Hmm. Maybe a bone card since we're going to be generating a lot of bone. Another coyote. Okay. And what are opportunities here? Duplicates. We could get a single rat king, but it seems like it could be a waste considering we get all this generation goodie off of it. Um, going... We do need to kind of get to that wood carver, so I'm tempted to say let's go here, make our way up to the wood carver, and other than Rat King, I think we don't have another duplicate, so maybe after the card draw we will we'll know which way. So let's just go this route for now. Alright, one of these needs some power. Um, well, we do have the Cody situation too, so what would be a good move here? Maybe the Mantis? Okay, I think we'll 
take back because that gives it effectively plus two attack. Alright, we'll leave the frozen possum alone and we could if we have a mantis that would be ideal. Yes, we do. Perfect. Okay. And that'll be the turn. Now I'm kinda of thinking having a uh, bone token would be nice. Mantis should be able to take out the raven egg and the elk fawn. Now if I can react fast enough to get rid of the wolf cub, that would be perfect. Fortunately, the stoat's going to be moving around, so I can do this number here to start. Okay. I think we're going to get our over damage and this is going to be it. Good. I don't think I have enough that I could trade uh, teeth for pelts. It'll be worth it. Unfortunately, I'm gonna miss this maps. I look at things. Well, with all the bone generation we could be doing, turkey vulture is looking more viable. Um, Raven sounds decent overall. However, a turkey vulture would be pretty cool. Hmm. We're not gonna get a duplicate of other anything other than our. Like we have our Cody and um, our Hack Rat, or Rat King actually. So, what would be the best way to balance this? We don't have any air right now, I believe. That might be an issue. So, Sparrow sounds tempting, but maybe the Raven would be worth it long term. Okay, um, if we combine two, we could get a Cody that's really powerful, six and two. And that may be better than having two separate ones that only have one hit point. Um, kind of hate to pass up a woodcarver, but it's feeling like this might be the only way. I see an item checkpoint up there too, so maybe we can pull a tooth at the next battle. All right, I think Cody is the way to go. There we go, that's the power. Can at least withstand an attack by a single hit point enemy. All right, Raven Egg and a Wolf Cub. Sounds like a, another job for our uh, mantis perhaps or we could play let's see and mantis would be good but it's gonna be hobbled if it's over here that's the only problem um, wish we could get rid of the fur maybe playing the wolf cub in front of our raven egg makes the most sense for our opening. That way we are putting a squirrel down. Wish we had just enough blood to uh, get the rat king, but we don't. So we're going to start like this, I guess. Oh, the alpha is going to power things up, make everything worse. Um, we'll do this number and... Uh, I suppose we better deploy the mantis, even though it's not ideal. Oh, didn't expect that movement. There we go. That'll get rid of the raven egg that's going to haunt us if we don't. There we go. We finished it. <laughs> that was fast. Didn't expect it to go that smoothly. Alright. Imagine having a Mega Grizzly. We could get another Raven. Have a nice strong Raven too. Lower cost. A three blood moose buck. I think we'll do that. So we have some heavy hitters in our arsenal. And we'll get a duplicate pack rat as well. So maybe we'll have some generation here. That'll help. Kinda like to get an airborne fan. That would be nice. 
Alright. So. What sigil may be worth transporting? I think maybe stealing the pack rats and putting it on the bullfrog or something else might not be a bad idea. So it only has one attack, but it has an extra blood, and that kind of sucks. Stealing its sigil and putting it on a cheaper one so I can get an item more readily could be a lifesaver, I think. Maybe we'll do that. And who do we have that's cheaper? We have a wolf cub. It'd be kind of nice to be able to play it. We can make the bullfrog more viable as well. Um... Maybe we will put it on the bullfrog, just since it has more HP as well. Might be more applicable than if we're in a pinch and that wolf cub can't be played. Okay. Hmm. Don't like the porcupine sigil. We really need to finish our woodcarver, so I think that'll be my focus for the next area. All right. Okay, this is a chaos stoat. It's just kind of running around, hitting things. Kind of like the idea of it. Okay, a smoke that'll get us four bones. And we can also have a bullfrog that gives us an item. So I'm gonna pull a tooth just to get rid of that. I think it's the worst item that we have right now. And if I got the bullfrog on, we could have it take out this strange frog. And, uh, or this one over here. We'll just have two of them that are doing damage against us. Either way, we're gonna have to sacrifice a couple of things to clear up a damage area. So, might as well attack something that's um, going to be putting points on us. And we got a squirrel, so um, I'm trying to think, would it be worth playing the stoat or something against it with the squirrel? I'll just put the smoke down and go from there. Okay. Alright, so Stoke could get a hit in and also sacrifice itself on the leaping trap, and that might be our best situation. Okay. Alright, and we need to get some damage on the board pretty badly, so. I think that I'm going to have to get our squirrel pulled over. Um, we have a pack rat that we can play to turn one of these frogs into a trap and limit the damage it's coming in, so I think that we're going to have to do that. Plus it'll replace the item that we had just used to. Okay, and we're going to do one damage against this, but we have room for that. Hopefully that's enough leeway to make it through. Okay. Oh, an elk. We really don't want to have to deal with that. So maybe we'll sacrifice our pack rat here in a minute. I think we're going to have to do this. And now we could use... Um, Let's see, put our squirrel down and play the black goat and start attacking that lane, perhaps. Um, let's see, what would be another way we could do this? We could just play a squirrel and get rid of those two and that might be the best thing because we don't want the elk coming out. So i will do this and we will sacrifice that way. Okay, and that gives us another Rat King. So, um, 
And it's going to put plus two on the board. And until they lay down something else, we'll just keep going that way. If I have to, I will drag something over because I don't want to lose. Oh, another Rat King. It would have been handy to have uh, something with some bone demand. There we go. Okay. And thinking we're just going to have to kind of stick with this. Fortunately, the bullfrog is going to take out the rat king. Um, so it could sacrifice and get that leaping trap taken care of. However, it just doesn't, feels like another problem. So maybe we'll deploy rat king against that bullfrog after that one gets taken out. should be able to do this because I can use the black goat and maybe we'll get lucky around a wolf cub. Um, not a good spot for it though because it's going to die against any of these. So but with only one blood needed to play it, maybe that would be a wiser choice than trying to deploy a rat king which is just going to immediately die. Um, it's too bad we didn't have something more powerful in our hand, but maybe that could be our way to uh, get going here. So we do have the balance overall, and I think we may be safe-ish. Okay. I think we're just going to have to play a Rat King. There's no way about it. And that will require using our black goat. And we'll also get another rat king, of course. And that may be all we should do for the moment. Might have to pull that card over. It's getting uh, a little too hairy here. Yep. All right, time to wink. Definitely need to hit up a uh, backpack full of items here in a minute. It's starting to look a little dire, but we'll see. Sacrifice it to get a grizzly on the board. This is my buffed up grizzly. At least I think I buffed it a little bit earlier, so this might be fine from here out. Here we go. Now we're going to do our trade. Which I only have the one pelt, so that's not good. And two pelts. Okay, Grizzly's going to take out this lane, I think, in one hit. So, who would be the nastiest ones that we need to get rid of? Um, don't like this airborne worker ant. That sounds kind of bad. This pronghorn with multi attack sucks too. Um, perhaps getting rid of that in the wild bull would be our wisest decisions. I think so. Having that three attack power is rough. And what do I have in my hand now? Yeah, being able to use Stinky against those guys back in their face could really help. So, okay. Um, I guess it's just a matter of drawing some squirrels now. Good. And the grizzly should put a lot of damage on that lane now. Hey, we got our mega coyote. That's definitely going down. Nice. 
it's game over for them. Perfect. Man, I've got to get to uh, the uh, pelt salesman. The trapper. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Oh, Mantis God. If we could buff you up, that would be amazing. Long Elk and Yue Yuli are also tempting. I feel like it might be a little bit of a waste to get the Yue Yuli, though, considering that I have a buffed up Grizzly and a Cody. Um, now, if I could get a, an upgrade on the Mantis God even once, that would be fantastic. We're getting kind of in the late stages, though. I don't know if I see Long Elk being worth it, but if we could upgrade it even once, maybe it would be. We're generating a lot of bone now, so let's just try. We need to get a backpack, so maybe I will go this route. It's going to be a little bit rough, but so be it. All right, four power, four blood, and three sigils. I feel like maybe sigil has our best pet. Oh, nice, just barely. Wow, I needed this pretty badly. Oh, a kingfisher, it makes bone and um, is an alpha uh, leader, that's a term I'm looking for. That's very tempting. Or an elk fawn that can help us find a card that we're looking for. Oh, geez. Um, I want to say Kingfisher. If we can buff that, that would be amazing. I could get items, or I could try to get something buffed in the turn. Oof, that's a hard one. Maybe I should go with items. Goat. Squirrel. Scissors. And the ability to just kill a card when needed is so nice. We still haven't done the angler fight yet either, so that's going to be tough. Alright. So... Elder Stoat sounding like a good idea. This is tough too. I could just park this stoat and have it taking hits on its kingfishers though. So I think I'll do just that. Okay. get a rat king on just to uh, stem this bleeding a little bit um, we'll do it hate to have to use an item right away but hey this is why I went the item route right there we go and that'll get us plus two so we'll do two damage there and our elder soap so we should have four I think that's enough to recover hope I'm right yeah that should be right Man, now we got a raven incoming though. Feeling like I'm gonna have to cut a card or something. Um, we could use a black goat to put down a moose buck though, and get some overwhelming firepower down. I think that it's actually gonna be a demand the more I look at the situation. There we go. Good, good. Okay, um, we're just getting so much damage in a turn, though. We're just like, let's see, we've got two, five, seven, they got two, four, five, six. <laughs> this is not an ideal setup. I really may have to cut a card, as silly as that sounds. 
No, nope, there we go. I'm just worried about their, what they're going to pull out next, but it wasn't enough. All right, we can get. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Um, I think we'll just have to keep it. So we're going to turn it around anyways. There we go. Good. Now we can buy some pelts. Wait, where are my teeth at? There's nothing over here. I guess I had exactly 11. Okay then. Um, I don't see a trader. I could have a bone token doing a sacrifice or I could duplicate a nice card. Um, what would be the best route here? Getting more items would be nice. I can only do that if I do a sacrifice. Um, sigil swaps. I could see maybe taking the Kingfisher and putting it, and putting the Long Elks on the Kingfisher or something crazy like that. Maybe we will do this. Okay. Who would we like? Maybe another gnarly coyote. Hopefully it'll get the stats right again. No, oh, it's down on one. That's a little bit rough. Perhaps we'll be able to combine them with a fungi, a fungi event, I should say. Fungi. <laughs> I never did complete my uh, totem, so I need to figure that out. There's Stinky too, taking down damage. That's rough. Okay, um, we'll get an Elder Stoat in a turn. So maybe it could hit over there and take out the Raven Egg on its next run. Or we could work on getting rid of the Coyote. also get us an item generated with the bullfrog. I think we'll start with the stoat since it's going to put more power on the board to start. Okay, and we'll let that be that. Okay, um, we'll generate an item using the bullfrog. We'll put it in the line duty against the Coyote. And the Raven's going to come in and do plus two damage, so that's not good. Um, I think putting the Possum in front of it might be a good idea. And that should be enough that we're safe. We don't really have another choice anyways. Oh, that wasn't enough. Wow. Simple as that. I got zapped. Should have used a card cutter. Alright. Afraid to get another bone. Let's see how many we have. One, two, three. Three bone. Maybe it would be a good idea. A uh, four. Okay. Okay then. Who would make a good sacrifice? Maybe the Long Elk? Yeah. And let's put it on somebody nasty like. It's going to have a lot of power. Um, I think it would be wasted on anything with Airborne. So... Maybe the Mantis. That'll get it moving and having one hit. That would be pretty wicked. There we go. And it's hitting in two directions as well. Good. Maybe we could start it here and have it land in front of the B. But we didn't draw it yet, so... 
That's how it is. B is immediately, or the uh, Anne is immediately going to be a problem. So let's uh, let's go with this. It's four on the board already. Uh, might have to cut one of those ants up. I don't have enough to generate either of these two. So let's draw this. We got a raven. And if I use a squirrel, I could get the raven on if I sacrificed and took out either this lane or the ants. Um, still not going to be enough because Mantis is going to come in here and do another damage. Um, so I think I want to have to do both a cut and use up squirrel. And that weakens our worker ant, the bullfrog will attack that, and then we have a problem of the mantis attacking in two directions, so I probably need to park um, a raven or something over here. Do I even have enough though? Maybe we can sacrifice the bullfrog and that'll take out... Hmm. The raven's just going to be airborne though, so that's a problem. We will get plus two on the board. I think I may have lost this round, unfortunately. But let's just try it out. We'll get some more bones so if we can survive one more round. Maybe we'll make it. So that's not going to hit. That's not going to hit. This one will hit, but it's only plus one. And I'll be getting plus two. So maybe, maybe it'll work out. Okay then. Alright, and I can't tell if I have four bones yet or not, but let's draw another one of these. A stoked. Excellent. Um, but I can't play. <laughs> um, so, a stoked could replace the raven, and in doing so, take that first hit. Also, moving up, um, it could take out the mantis and then move in the way of the worker ant. And the bee would just be plus one overall. And it would survive the ant's attack. So, maybe I can pull that around. Let's see. And that also gives us room to play the coyote. And if we did that, we could get a lot of damage on the board plus six over here and it would also that might be enough let's just see what happens okay it's not enough to win but it's enough to block a good bit of their damage okay uh, and this may be where they turn it back around because those worker ants are going to be too strong GG yep wow what a tough one. Ah, what a bummer. I think I'll play one more round though. That was tough, but I hate to leave it where it was because I felt like I was getting so close. I'll try to move a little bit more quickly. So it took me about 48 minutes to get to where we were last time. So let's just make decisions more quickly if we can. Um, an elk fawn that would get stronger. We could take ants. Maybe we'll go for an ant run. And annoying stuff like porcupines. Um, anything that we can feed. I don't know if a skink will poison those dudes or not. But we could try getting it for the fun of it. Okay. And... I wish we could back out of these, like, it's too early to have to do this. Um, maybe we'll put the skink's power on something obnoxious, like maybe the, uh, either the worker ant or the stoat. Maybe we'll do the ant. Because if I'm going for an ant build, we'll try to make them as gnarly as we can. I do see a woodcarver and a, uh, 
another opportunity back over there to uh, do the prospectors mini game. So I might go that route. Porcupine, um, stoat, worker ant. I think we'll do our worker ant and we'll place it just like so. Okay. And we'll get our stoat on the board and take out the coyote. And that'll be that. Okay. Got him. We'll do the prospector out. Alright, hopefully I get something. We'll do middle. Ant Queen, yes. Yes, Queen. <laughs> Alright, so she generates ants, and we could instead have a worker ant that generates ants and have less blood and get the sigil if we do the sacrifice route. Um, however, we could get the wood carver figured out and. I don't want to have enough to make pelts, so maybe the wood carver makes more sense for this moment. Because we still have the ant queen anyways, so why not? Hey, an ant head. Perfect. Feeling good about this run. This feels like it's got some uh, turbo in it. Alright, so... Let's get, let's see, we have Guardian, so no matter where we put that worker at, it's going to be in trouble, so why don't we just go ahead and put it down here. Or maybe we can get the Ant Queen on the next turn. There we go. And we'll do this, and we're going to have an Alpha, so we should probably put an Ant Queen down to uh, help take it out. So I'm going to do that by doing this number and we will put it in front of the wolf cub and that will do some over damage. Okay. The ant machine is rolling already because well, we're going to put on another worker ant. <laughs> oh man, this is troll. It's over. Tons of excess damage to you. Good. Once we get a totem completed too with our wood carver, I think we'll be nigh unstoppable. Alright, Cuckoo is great for trolling. Moose Buck. Um, having some power on the board would be nice, but I think it will we'll go with it. Didn't have to think on that one too much. Trying to move quickly. Alright. And we could get the leg on it. Um, or we could get airborne. Perhaps airborne would be wiser until we get something better. It'd be cool if we get an ant generator and we're doing like double ants when we play ants or something. It'd be so funny. Alright, wolf cub. Looks like we could deploy the bullfrog against it. Yeah, I'm not sure about it, but it almost looks like we, we're guaranteed a one blood um, creature on our first attack. I'm not positive, though. Okay, are we down to just the hook? I think we are. No, we got teeth pull as well. We're not going to need it, but that wolf is going to take out the bullfrog. I remember this pattern. It definitely plays a set pattern, it seems. So I remember the wolf cub followed by a wolf in its lane. And we can play a wolf against it, too. Okay. There we go. Alright. Nice. Now I wish I 
could have done the tooth pull. Oh, another ant. Because <laughs> I'm just going to get one item out of this, unfortunately. We'll do card cut. Okay. This is what I was hoping for. Um, oh, we only get two choices. That stinks. Um, an airborne or a shove. I guess it's got to be the airborne. And, or the airborne blocker. I forget the name of it. Could put it on a worker ant or a stoat. And, might as well put it on a stoat so it has some more elements. Staying focused on that ant build. Okay. What can we do? Could put the worker ant in front of the coyote. That would be kind of funny. I'd buy some time too to put down another worker ant in front of the pack mule. I think that I'll do that. Okay. There we go. And we will put down another worker ant to strike on I guess that Cody and the other pac will come in, get a hit, but that Cody is going to take out this airborne ant too, so it's kind of a, a little bit of a wash. Um, I could put down the smoke to block an attack, but I'm afraid that Cody is going to overwhelm me if I don't get rid of it. So let's get some more damage on the board too. Okay. airborne ants are going to be not so good for taking out creatures though. That's going to be a problem. Um, I don't think I need to use any of these guys yet, but there might be a need for it here soon. Okay. Good. We're not losing too much cards wise. Okay. We can take that. And that'll let us get our respuck on the board. And um, Big threat is currently the coyote, so maybe we'll go ahead and attack for it first. Um, why did I do that? That was a bad, bad decision. I need the bloodhound to take things out, sadly. Um, I could card cut the pack mule, and this will be over. It's too thick, I forgot about that warning. Um, yeah. We'll go ahead and cut this, and then the Bloodhound will take out that, and we'll be able to do it as a waste of the scissor, but I think ultimately probably the best thing I could have done. Ooh, an Ant Queen. So she would start generating, and I could play another Ant, but they're going to be airborne. That won't help me get rid of our Pack Mule issue. So we'll save it for the next one. Just want to take out our new spuck, just like that. What a shame. We'll play our worker ant over here, and that'll be enough power that we should win. Got him. Good, good. Interesting. So, Yuriuli, that's four blood. Mole Man could block damage for us for a bit. I think I'll do it. 
I really do appreciate its uh, blocking abilities. And only being one blood and getting six defense is great. So if I could power it up, I would. Fortunately, I want to only get one item from the board again. Now, doubling up on Moose Box and the cloning, that would be nigh unstoppable, so maybe we'll try for it. See if one guy event in the upper left. Get the possum to join forces with us. I have a fair amount of teeth too, so I could go to the trapper. Um, this route's sounding pretty good. I hate that I missed out on a possible better sigil though. Um, and another good card, perhaps. However, getting pelts may be a higher priority, so let's go. Alright, Guardian Sigil. We have Elk Fawns coming in. Hmm. Not a good situation. So... Really don't like that. Um, especially with our un unuseful um, airborne sigil, it's going to be a problem. Let's put down the possum and we'll get it on this elk fawn. It's going to get stronger and we'll save up some blood. thinking we're going to have to play something because that elk fawn is going to be a problem. We're going to pull it over to our side. At least things have to do that, but oh well. And if I can get something in front of the porcupine like this uh, worker ant, we may be just fine. It's going to die after the attack, but we'll see. Having the elk fawn powered up will be good. Okay. I can't believe I got two moose bucks on the turn. That's uh, pretty rough. There we go. Now we got our possum on the team. Um, I think I have enough. I could actually get a moose buck on the board. There we go. And we'll take out our elk in a turn or two. And. We can also get the wolf going. Here we go. That's enough on the board. We should win this round. Good. We'll combine our moose bucks here in a moment, too. It's going to be unstoppable, I'm telling you. Here we go. Alright, fun guy time. Alright. I don't see a point in doubling up the worker ants. Um, although it would have more power, um, it would only be that one. Moose bucks um, sound like a better idea. Having 6 and 14, that would just be amazing if it works. Yep. Because if we can get that on the, on the board, I think it's game over. Like, it'd be very hard for them to stop me then. Alright, I forget which one is this. This is Burrower. Alright, so it's on the Wild Bull. Interesting. Empty space would be struck, a card bearing sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Alright, we're gonna leave the rabbit in place, maybe get rid of our our porcupine instead. And we could start with maybe getting our worker or our uh, mole man on the board to uh, absorb some of the heat while we're drawing cards. I think that might be our ideal start. Okay, and start working on our moose buck. 
and our moosebuck could go after the wild bull with the sacrifices that we have available now. I don't know how much more viable the mole man's going to be. I mean, he could run one more turn, um, but that gives him an opportunity to get more on the board too, so I don't really like that. So I think it will go ahead and sacrifice. It's for the greater good. Here we go. It's going to obliterate that frozen possum. I'm going to unfreeze it. Alright. Worker ant could go where? I guess against the porcupine, but it's going to die, so tend to hold on to it. Maybe we can put it from the elk just to uh, deflect the elk's damage a little bit. Alright, Moose Buck is uh, doing its tank thing for us now. Um, so we're going to get 2, 3 damage off of this. And it's not super ideal, so I want to pull a tooth just to get rid of that. So next time we go to Item World, we'll have a uh, good reason to go and I think this might be fine fortunately the moose buck is getting denied a lot so we're gonna have to play squirrels in front of these two or else we're gonna be doomed I think we can take one of them I guess in front of the elk would be the best Okay, we Buck should get us caught up now. And Rabbit Pelt, because um, it's going to do plus six and they're going to do plus three, so that'll be enough. Oh, how am I misplayed? Ooh, that was very close. All right, there we go. Um, I could keep going. What would I get out of that? So... Plus one porcupine would get me though. I could block it here and we'll exceed the teeth quite a bit. So I wonder if he'll keep um, offering. He does keep offering. Interesting. So we'll do this number again. And we'll just keep doing it. Okay, that excess teeth makes it worth it. There's a little bit more time, but just in case we end up being forced to go to the uh, felt trader, I think it'll be worth it. Okay, um, we could duplicate a card. Getting an ant in sounds like a good idea, so let's just do it. Maybe we'll get a chance here. Um, I'm tempted to use the clover so we can get a shot at an ant, so let's see. A black goat. Not oh, having it in my hand permanently would be nice. Having the pronghorn for a sacrifice would be cool too. Especially if I could get it like on the ant queen or something. Hmm. I think we'll do it. Should have thought about that first draw of cards a little bit more beyond just wanting an ant, but that's okay. Who should we duplicate? We do have a ant queen and an ant that has a little um, loose tail ability. Who else makes sense? I'm thinking we'll do this guy since he's a little bit frustrating, but worth having. Oh, an improved health. Great. And we can get items here in another match or two. Ah, oh, Moose Buck. Right off the bat, huh? It's going to obliterate whatever I put in front of it. wonder if I should play a pelt so I can save up. Mole is going to be a problem. Alright, I'm just going to do this. Hate to have to give that away.
Alright. That just leaves us with a stoat. So, let's go um, this way. Alright. We could put the worker ant in front and it'll skedaddle even its tail behind. So, that's a start. And it'll get a hit on that moose buck. It's going to be our main target, I think. Nope, nope, it's not going to get hit because it's airborne, duh. Alright. Could play the stoat to uh, block the skunk, but it's just going to be a defense mechanism. Um, and it's airborne blocking. So, let's, uh, uh... Not having items is tough. So, I guess we'll just have to do something like this. Not looking good for the home team. I can say that. Alright. Nant Queen. Um, I hate to get rid of my golden pelt, but we just really are having a tough time otherwise. Pretty sure you still get it back in your hand later, right? I hope so. I actually don't know how the pelts work in that regard. Okay. Could get the ant queen playing and attacking the moose buck, but it's just going to be a problem. Like, got to get rid of that sparrow too. I think the moose buck's going to attack and then move, so the elk fawn is going to come in. It's just drowning my resources, unfortunately. It takes two to get the ant queen as well. So I'm wondering if I got rid of the worker ant, would that even make sense? Hmm. I'm not sure. I may end up losing over some misplays here, because I'm just not seeing a good way out of all this. That's tough. He's going to recoup all of those losses now. All right. Oh. So we're gonna get four damage on the board if I do nothing. I'd be able to survive it. If I could get a squirrel, I could get a worker ant down and do damage against a sparrow, but it's gonna hit me hard. Um, having the pronghorn moving and doing damage. Moose buck though, that's the problem. I'm gonna keep coming back to that is an issue, unfortunately. It's just really not leaving me with a good situation. If I can just survive one more round and having the higher attack power ant, maybe that'll be enough. So now we're going to do four damage. Okay. And the pronghorn could be used to do what? And do two damage. So we could take out the mole. Um, it has three health, so it would take all the damage off of the moose buck. Um, don't really want to kill the skunk, I believe. So if I put the pronghorn in front, that would be decent. Um, but it's going to be gone the next round. Um, Tough, tough, tough. I wish I could get rid of the sparrow. That's my main problem with everything now. Put it here and do bam, bam. That's going to hit. That's going to hit. So that's four. I think I probably just lost it. But. Maybe I can think of a better strategy after this round. Spronghorn's not going to contribute enough, to really. Um, it'll get down there, but it's not going to put any points on the board, sadly. Yep, that's enough. That's all it took. Well, that's unfortunate, but I think it will get that candle back. Um, 
by the next round. This seems like the best route to me. We need items pretty badly. That's a big part of why I had such a terrible round. Um, now if I got this sigil put on an ant, that would be nice. So I might try for that. To have a stronger ant on the board than the others. Be a little asymmetric, but I think worth it. Okay. Getting health on ants sounds like a good idea. Um, we have one here that has no boost whatsoever. And what else do we have? I guess it, this one makes no sense. Alright, having four health gives us some uh, clearance, I think. We'll keep going. These frogs are going to grow stronger. That's not good. I think that we're just going to have to uh, take the bait. Well, I mean, these are airborne attacks too, so I mean, I could have it just sitting there on the trap, you know, hitting it forever. But it's not going to do anything, so um, I tend to do card cutting, but <sighs> maybe so. Alright. If we can get the ant army going, that'll be something, but. Ah, oh, I didn't know that the trap would get airborne. That stinks. Ah. Oh, that's definitely stinky. Alright, pronghorn. I think it's not enough. I mean, I can block this next attack, but that's going to be about it. So, I'm pretty sure that the rabbit pelts will work, but they're... We'll just have to see, I suppose. Um, okay. Pronghorn's not powerful enough to take one out in a single turn. If we can get enough attack on the board, though, we might be able to turn this around. I'm trying to think what the safest thing to do here is. Um, we can block another one of them being attacked and do something like this. And that'll get plus one and then two. I don't know if that's enough. Um, so let's do an airborne, and it might be enough to break us even and make a difference. Because we're only like one tooth away, so. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're going to be in another sad situation here soon, but let's just keep rolling with it. Yep. No way to make it, man. Wow, this run was uh, looking really strong at the beginning, but I think that my uh, big mistake was trying to get the woodcarver sigil with ants being um, airborne. That was not a good move. I think that I should have held out for something else for the um, bottom piece of the totem. That's okay. Lesson learned, and I will incorporate that in the future. Thanks for watching. This has been STR Inc. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at STR Inc. I'll have a replay up on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good one.